Hey lovers, this is the first of a new video series that I'm gonna call, hey, what is that? Hey, what is that? Some people call it a pinwheel. Some people call it a nerve wheel or a wheelie boy. Its proper name is a Wartenberg wheel. Like many King toys, it has its origins in the medical field. The Wartenberg wheel, also known as a neuro wheel, was used in neurology to test the sensitivity, skin sensitivity of a patient to see if their nerves were working. As you can see, the ends are very thin, very pointy and pin-like. So how is it used during play? The Wartenberg wheel can be the source of many different kinds of sensations. You could use it on ticklish parts of the body, say the bottom of the foot, for tickling. You can tap with points. Ooh, it's a nice tingly feeling. You can also use it in a scraping manner, running it along the skin, and you can see how it's making these very light marks on my skin. And then of course that's super temporary, it goes away right away, but um, it can be nice for people that want to play with marks but don't want to leave marks for a period, long periods of time. And also the scraping feeling can be very interesting. Rolling it on different parts of the body is also just going to wake up the nerves and create all kinds of sensations in new places and in new ways. This can also be connected to a violet wand and whew, that is very intense. You'll also notice that when I shake it, it makes that little, little clinky noise, which can be great for a little bit of psychological play or what we call mind fuckery. So if your partner is blindfolded, you can move it around them so that they're guessing, trying to guess where you're going to place it next and that can be really fun. Now the pins are not specifically meant to break skin, but breaking of skin can happen so as always you want to have your safety your first aid kit next to you and definitely recommend cleaning between uses with some alcohol at the very least especially when if you're going to be using it on different people because they're really easy to find and not very expensive so if you do play with multiple partners it's really easy to just have everyone have their own did you know what it was? Did you know about its medical history? What do you love about the Wartenberg wheel? Let me know in the comments and until next time, keep on good loving.